Hello Dr. Saad. Hey buddy, what brings you in today? I'm actually here to ask about your perspective on something. I'm thinking about getting my PhD in mathematics. Hmm. Where have you been looking? I'm looking for in-state schools and so far all I've found was Rutgers Newark. The program is from a prestigious research school and I'd love to teach there one day. Okay hold it right there. I don't mean to cut you off, but let me just tell you a few things. First off, you're absolutely insane for even wanting to do a PhD in math. I mean so am I, but Jesus Christ man you're only 20. When I was 20 I was so confused about life and I actually picked my major in math on a dare. Just to get a damn degree. And hell it sounded good, so why not? Secondly, you wanna go to Rutgers? Yes sir. Rutgers? Yes. What the hell's the matter with you? A sheet of paper covered in dog feces that says your name on it with doctor slapped on before it written by a five-year-old with Down syndrome has more merit than a degree from that godforsaken school. You know how many people apply to that damn program? About 60. You know how many people actually get in? 12. And less than half actually graduate while the others slowly die trying to complete the coursework. So much for prestigious. And then on top of that you want to work there. Why? They make six figures starting as an assistant professor. Plus I really want to do research. Starting at six figures is not worth swallowing all that semen. And no one in their right mind would want to do research in mathematics unless they're autistic. You're better off working at a non-research school and get your six figures after you've published a few things here and there to get tenured. Is that what you did, doctor? You're damn right that's what I did. You think I give a rut's ass about prestige? I have a supermodel wife with three kids, I drive German vehicles and have $13 solids for lunch. That's my prestige. A man is never defined by his degree son. The only practical reason I got a PhD is because I didn't want to work 40 hours a week like those other schmucks. Sure I make the same as any professional, but I work three-eighths the time they do. I see. On my spare time I do freelance music production over the internet, and it's enough to pay my taxes. The point is, I strongly advise against it. But if you insist on getting a degree, a smart move would be going to a school with easy admittance. Work your ass off, and work in a school that no one's even heard of or cares about. Like this one. Sure you could go to Rutgers and by the grace of God end up with a degree there, and yeah 9 times out of 10 you'll end up working there, but you'll also end up being a cynical stoic asshole and you'll develop subconjunctival hemorrhages due to the amount of pressure you'll be putting yourself through. I don't think I understand what you mean. It means you'll end up looking like Quasimodo by the time you're facing retirement son. A while back, the chairperson of this department had that problem when he taught me in undergrad. We almost felt sorry for him. Almost. I remember I told my parents about it, and even they said good. Hopefully next time he gets a stroke. Pretty harsh, but he deserved it. God knows where he's at now. Probably in Addis Ababa or something. Anyway the point is I don't want you being in that position. Thank you sir. But I wanna be just like you. Just like me huh? Do you have any idea what I went through? You know how many sleepless nights I've spent on one problem? And this was just on my masters. If you think I'm crazy for getting my bachelor's and master's on a dare, I got my PhD out of spite. That asshole chairperson I told you about highly recommended some old annoying Algerian bitch to get the same degree I got in applied mathematics. <laughs> Once I got it, I went to his Ethiopian ass and rubbed it in his face. He couldn't say anything. He went to some hick school in Arkansas, and his dissertation was a page long. I had to write a fucking book to get awarded. On top of that I was 29. Not many people can say that. But I'm the one who beats the odds. I would be the one who ends up getting a PhD in something I don't know jack shit about. All I do is teach undergrad. I had to go through so much shit just to teach a bunch of idiots who hate math what the value of X is, and some of them have the nerve to ask questions. You know what I usually do in my office hours? 
I slip out a bottle of Behringer and listen to my father's classical Egyptian songs from the 50s and 60s. Each song is at least an hour long. No one bothers to come, and I like to keep it that way. But sir, why the discouragement? I'm not discouraging you. I'm trying to get you to see a more practical alternative to pursuing a graduate degree, especially in math. It's stupid to go to a school because it's prestigious. This isn't med school. If you want to, go right ahead. You might be big balling at the end, but your personality won't be a charming one. Plus you have to understand that everyone's situation is different. When you choose a role model, you have to know where they've been to get to where they're at. I got lucky. I'm one of those people who think backwards and that's what's gotten me through my life, especially my career. I wanted the lifestyle before the degree, and I got both. But if you decide to go as far as a PhD in this field, make sure you carry alcohol with you at all times. Start off light like a small bottle of wine. Bring it to class with you every now and again. Then go hard like a small bottle of schnapps or something. Especially once you get into abstract and numerical analysis. Drugs are okay too. A little crystal meth doesn't hurt. Just don't bring that to class. Also you can forget about maintaining a relationship with another human being. The only thing you will be having sex with is your books. Get it over with son. Just make sure you don't end up sitting in your office with the lights off and the blinds closed floating in a debris of garbage on the floor staring at the trash can at the corner of your office wondering what happened to your life.